ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents a memorable musical hit, Victor Herbert's Sweetheart, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest, Zell. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Ah, thank you, thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Say, if you're in love, or if you've ever been in love, or if you're thinking of falling in love, we think you'll enjoy Victor Herbert's Sweethearts. Lovely me Benzel is here beside me to play Sylvia. My name is Franz. The story begins with a bevy of beautiful girls in the fabulous laundry of the White Peace. All we do the whole day through is iron, 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 iron. There are things we'd rather do, but we must iron, iron, iron. When we finish what we have to iron, 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 iron. Someone brings another up, and then we iron, iron, iron. Girls, girls, get to work. This is a laundry, not a singing society. Iron. Yes, ma. Oh, I hate to iron shirts. I don't mind if it's a military shirt like this one. Oh, don't iron that shirt. It belongs to Franz. And if we finish his laundry, he won't keep coming in to ask for it. <laughs> oh, shh. Here he comes. Hello, you little white geese. Is my laundry ready yet? Name, please. Oh, now, come on, Sylvia. You know my name by this time. Let me see. Your name is right on the edge of my lips. Mm. Stand still and I'll take it off. Mm. Franz. See? No, I'm sorry, Franz. Your laundry isn't ready yet. Good. I'll wait. I'm used to waiting for things. And by the way, how long do you think I'll have to wait for you to fall in love with me? You see, Sylvia, here's the way that I feel. When love would have stood as my master When love would have led me a pace My heart never beat any faster And I only laughed in his face I 
like you very much, but... Uh-uh, no bust. I'll settle for a maybe. All right, Franz, maybe. For every lover must meet his against a uniform? A married one. Oh. <laughs> but he ran off and left me with seven daughters, the bum. Now go away, go away. I've got work to do. I... Okay, if that's the way you feel. I, uh, I beg your pardon. You directly to the laundry of the white... Uh, your Highness! Shh! Nobody around here knows I'm the Crown Prince of Zelania. Be careful. Shh! Nobody around here knows I'm the Prime Minister of Zelania. What are you doing here, Mikel? I lost control of the government. Oh, my poor country. You've no idea how poor it is. Don't forget I was also secretary of the treasury. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mikel, how I miss my native land. The rolling hills, the rippling streams. Uh, prince. The magnificent uh, uh, landscapes. Look, uh, prince, the... prince, Prince, Prince. Hey, hey, boy, hey, hey, boy. <laughs> Tourists we can kid. But you and I, we've been to Zelani. Let's face it, it's a gopher hole. <laughs> but, Your Highness, if you say the word, I can put you back on the throne of Zelania. Just like that. Are you sure my people want me? We'll have an election. I'll count the votes myself. <laughs> Me, Carol, I won't have anything to do with your crooked plan. Now, look, Sam. You aren't the only heir to the throne of Zelani. But the other royal house died out. Well, I, I wouldn't be too sure. You see, 20 years ago, I slipped out of the country with a female heir. What? And I left the baby beside this laundry. Now, if there's a pretty girl in there in her early 20s, a then... <laughs> Go on in. Have you got a surprise coming? <laughs> All right, I will. Uh... Is there a pretty girl in here in her early 20s? Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh. I never had astigmatism this good. <laughs> uh, tell me, do you all, all you little, do you all belong to one family? Oh, yes, indeed. They call us the little white geese. <laughs> well, well, well. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> uh, yes, I know, quite quiet. Look, is, uh, is one of you an adopted daughter? Yes, but Mother never told us which one was adopted. Well, I guess I'll have to hang around here until I find out. Uh, none of you girls are married, I hope. Oh, no. We can't get married because we wear wooden shoes. Uh, naturally. Mm -hmm. Wooden shoes. Can't get married. Hmm. There must be something my father didn't tell me. <laughs> well, I guess you don't know the legend of Jeanette and her wooden shoe. Well, enlighten me, child. I'm listening all over. The lively Jeanette. Our fame for frivolity. The sprightly coquette. Who lived just for jollity. Had plenty of suitors. Had only to choose. And being a Dutch girl. She wore wooden shoes When she stole out at night All the town knew the news When they heard the pit-patter Of her wooden shoes Then the lads have a sleep Oh, how jealous they'd get And they'd say to themselves Who is out with Janet? Jeanette, Jeanette, who is our Jeanette? Clippity clop clop, clippity clop clop, over the tiles. Her feet were petite, but you heard her for miles. With her pitter patter patter clip, clippity clop, gossip pursued. The seed is to be trained by Jeanette. Clip clop clop, clip clop clop, there in the snow. Her feet so pretty. 
was enough to make a girl spend the rest of her life barefooted. Iron! Do you hear me? Oh, Iron! Oh, 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 my goodness, Mother's coming. Well, well, well listen, hide me someplace. Well, well, quick, jump in this hamper of dirty clothes. Well, well, don't forget I'm in here, and when you're sorting this, remember, I'm the one without the laundry mark. Oh, shh, get in. Here she comes. Didn't I hear a man's voice in here? No, Mama. Uh, clothes hamper looks a little bulgy. Is anybody hiding in that clothes hamper? Nobody in here except us bloomers. <laughs> well, that's good. Get to work, girls. Iron. Girls, I think that man in the clothes hamper is Papa. Hey, Sylvia. Are you back again, Franz? Your laundry isn't ready yet. Ah, uh, but I'm looking for something you can't wrap up in a package and tie with a string. What's that? As if I didn't know. Well, it's something you can never find by looking for it. All of a sudden, you glance around, and there it is, right out of your own back window. You're right, Ron. If you ask when love is found, the sort of love that's fond and true, I will bid you look around. Sometimes love is very trying You really must not mind it If it comes not to your sighing There is always one place you can find it Seek the dwelling of two happy sweethearts Make love their very own. Sweethearts can live on love alone. in just a moment. We're ready for Act Two of Victor Herbert's Sweetheart, starring Gordon McRae as Franz and his lovely guest Mimi Benzel as Sylvia. You can come out now. Uh, yes, well, 
Well, look, I, I didn't mind hiding in the clothes hamper, but you didn't have to leave the lid down all through the... We know who you are. Papa. Papa? You mean I'm the father of seven girls? Uh-huh. Cantor will never speak to me. <laughs> now, look, girls, why don't you all line up and each one please to welcome him home? Hmm? <laughs> oh, kiss me, my little daffodil. Mm. Ooh, daddy. Now, next, oh, uh, bust me, my little buttercup. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Is there a dandelion in the house? Yeah. Ooh, hooray for dandelion. This is a fine way to run a laundry. When you figure out a better way, let me know, huh? <laughs> Just what's going on here? Oh, girls, girls, go wash clothes. Papa has to explain to the gentleman. <laughs> Papa? Well, sure, Papa. See, I had to figure out a way to stick around here so I can find out which one heir to the throne of Zelania. Which one do you think it is? The uh, prettiest one, naturally. Now, how are you going to tell which one's the prettiest, Mikel? You know, powder and paint makes a girl what she ain't. Who's complaining? It doesn't matter what is done By nature for a pretty one She's never satisfied Till she her hand has tried A touch of rouge applied with skill Will make her more like nature still her cheeks a shell like pink Are all her own, we think And as this goddess goes her way She chuckles as she hears us say She's pretty as a picture Mama? What? Well, I, I'm home, Mama. Kiss me. I'd rather have a nerve killed. <laughs> Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Franz. Still waiting for your laundry? What else? Uh, go away, Your Highness. Your Highness? Your Highness? Franz, why did he call you Your Highness? Well, Sylvia, you may as well know the truth. I am really the Crown Prince of Zelania. Oh, Your Highness. Well, what difference does it make? Well, a, a plain girl in a laundry can't marry a prince. Marry me? Really? Would you? Oh, Franz, I can't ever marry you now. Sylvia, come back. The Angelus. At least I can go in now and pray. And maybe I'll find out what I should do.
when you love somebody, what does it matter who you are? Listen to me. of Zelania, pressing ruffles in a petticoat. Iron! Yes, yes, Mama. Papa is ironing. Why? Why is Papa ironing? I'm not even a Papa. I'm crazy. Iron! Oh, mangle your own petticoats. I'm getting sick and tired of this laundry. All right, then get out. All right, I will. If you'll tell me which one of our daughters is adopted. You're their father. You ought to know. You know, she's got a point there. Okay, I, I confess I'm not your husband. Then who are you? Well, I'm the guy who left that baby in your tulip garden 20 years ago. Now I want her back. She's the heir to the throne of Zelania. My little Sylvia, a princess? Yep. Now, our gal Sylvia won't have to ask that question. Can a young girl from a laundry in Belgium find happiness married to Zelania's famous crown prince? <laughs> Sylvia, Franz, come in. Yeah, yeah, come on in, kids. We've got some good news for you. Well, what kind of good news, Papa? Don't call this old windbag Papa. You were adopted. Adopted? Well, then Sylvia must be the other heir to the throne of Zelania. <laughs> yes, sir. Ain't it convenient how these things work out? <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about marrying a prince, Sylvia, because you're a princess. Well... I just can't believe it. Hey, uh, hey, kids, your, your highness is... Uh, your, your, uh, yeah, well, listen, when, when the two of you get restored to the throne of Zeleny, I, uh, <clears throat> I happen to know of an unemployed prime minister who is between engagements, mm -hmm. <laughs> has wardrobe, will travel. <laughs> Not a chance, Mikhail. You'll never get a job in my government. Um, our government, darling. Yes, my sweet, of course. <laughs> All right, we'll make him third assistant secretary of agriculture in charge of corn. <laughs> now, there is gratitude for you. Franz, do we have to wear the king and queen to get married? No. Let's get married right now. Oh, sweetheart. How do you like that for the ending of a fairy tale? Hans Christian Andersen, the Grimm brothers, or even when a girl marries. Yes, I'll give them cards and spades if they can top this one. All other love is doomed to fade. It is like sunshine veiled in I will be back in just a moment. Our thanks to Jim Backus, who was Meek Helen, to Verna Felton, to Katie Lee, Marion Richmond, and our entire company. Sweethearts with book and lyrics by Harry B. Smith, Fred de Graysock, and Robert B. Smith, and music by Victor Herbert was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. Thousands of people today are demonstrating just how we get things done in America. 
For throughout the nation, volunteer workers are pitching in to help the community chest and to make sure assistance will be available to those who need it. So won't you help make your friends' and neighbors' jobs just a little easier by contributing generously when they call on you? This year, the expanded community services to the armed forces have been added to the long list of vital and humane Red Feather agencies. So won't you keep these extra services in mind when you make your contribution to the community chest? All aboard! Well, sir, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night in Irving Berlin's Holiday Inn, with the lovely Dorothy Kirsten, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Sweethearts was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae can soon be seen in Warner Brothers' Starlit. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. And now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Oh!